Hey everyone, today's video is actually a Facebook Live I did yesterday. It's of Maine lobster shells with resin and brusho. I did a test with this and you're gonna see it live. Hi, I'm Kelly Cassie. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I have new videos every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you click that subscribe button, click the little bell, and you'll never miss one. I also have full monthly online classes and tutorials on my website at www.kellychassiefineart.com and I do have over 10,000 students and over 15 years of experience teaching art classes. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel if this is your first time here and for those of you that have been around for a while, thanks again for coming back. Uh, I want to give a shout out this week for my Tuesday tag to Sandy. This is her gorgeous rendition of the crystal class that we had done. And she used alcohol inks and masking fluid for this one. And if you're interested in learning how to do this, I will put a link for you down below. So anyway, let's get into my test for this week. My live demonstration I did on Facebook using main shells and some brusho. So while we wait, um, everybody to get on. It looks, looks like we've got a few of you on here already. Um, I wanted to show you guys, I got a box of goodies in today as well. Do you guys want to see it? What I got? I'm just waiting for my resin to kind of debubble here while I wait. Anybody want to see it? I'm going to show it to you anyway. So this is a kit that you can get. It's um, It's got a heat tool. And I've never had a heat tool before, so I'm going to try that and see how that's going to work. Not doing that today, but... Um, and then also in my little kit, I got some embossing powder. And this is by Ranger. And it's got the bridal tinsel in there, so I'm really excited to try that one. It's really sparkly. Uh, and then with the kit came the embossing ink pad. I haven't even opened these yet. I'm excited to try them. And, oh, look at that. comes with little scoopers. So I can scoop out my embossing powder. So guess what I'll be doing soon is embossing. And it comes with some embossing pens. That's with it. And then, what else we got? Oh, we've got embossing powder prep tool. I'm not really sure how to use that yet. I don't know how to use any of this stuff yet, but we'll figure it out. And then lastly is, I guess these are the, the gel plates or the plates that you to use the embossing powder on. So I gotta figure this all out, but this looks like it's gonna be some fun. Well, stick around and check that one out later. Maybe it'll be a YouTube video. And then I also wanted to say thanks to Sharon Harris. She sent me my um, ink cozies for Ranger. <laughs> These are so cute. The little rubber things and they have a little flat surface. So this is so you don't tip, tip them over. So they just sit on your desk like this, and then I guess you can lay them on the flat side too. So if you want to store them that way. So that's a cute little thing that I got. So thanks, Sharon. And then guess what else I got in? I know you guys have been hearing me whine because I lost my masking fluid. So that came in today. I have been wanting to do so many things with this, and I've lost it. I still cannot find it. And it took, I think, from Amazon, it took like four days for it to come in. So I'm glad it's here. <laughs> So it looks like we've got a few folks on. Give me a, a like or a little thumbs up if you're here. Maybe give me a comment, let me know. That way I know if I'm talking to myself or not. Oh, and I wanted to tell you, I'm gonna try for the first time with resin some of the Brusho. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this one. It's the, the crystals and I just used this on my YouTube channel. Um, last week I tested them out for the first time in watercolors and I'm so excited about them. As a matter of fact, I added a, a little lecture onto the um, end of my crystal class that I just released. So um, they're beautiful, they're really fun. So I'm gonna try it with resin and see if it works, but I have some thoughts on it. We'll see if it uh, does what I want it to do. So we're gonna be testing it today. Um, and if you want the 50% off coupon for the new crystal class, by the way, it actually ends today. So if you are on my newsletter or my subscriber list, uh, if you just let me a note in here, let me know that you want it. I can um, send that link to you after the live is over. So, all right. So if we're ready, I need to know what color you guys want me to use. Hi, Dora. <laughs> 
This is the uh, crystals here. So I have blue, pink, purple, green, orange, or yellow. Which one, which one do you guys want me to try first in the resin? Anyone? You have a thought? I'm waiting. Nothing yet. Amanda, you still there? <laughs> Debbie, anybody? All right, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna, oh, purple. All right, good Deb, because that's what I just had. <laughs> So we're going to try the purple. So I have my resin already mixed up. I don't know if you caught that at the very beginning or not, but I've already mixed it for the three minutes. And you can see I still have some bubbles in there. I'll get up close so you can see it a little bit. But um, And then these are the little containers that I use to hold my resin in when I'm not working on. So it makes it really easy to be able to pour just a little bit in there because you want to make sure that it's equal. So what I'm gonna do is take a separate cup and I'm gonna take my crystals. And someone said, I guess you can pop a hole in it with a little tack. I don't have any tacks yet, so I gotta do that. So I'm gonna just dump a little bit of it in here. Not a whole lot, that's all I've got in there. Just a little. And then I'm gonna try adding a little bit of the resin to it just to see what this is gonna do. And it did what I thought it was going to do. Ha! <laughs> it just looks grainy because normally this is added with water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of alcohol to it and see if I can get that to work. That was kind of a dud, wasn't it? <laughs> so I'm going to, this is alcohol, 91% isopropyl alcohol in here. And I'm just going to squirt a little bit in. I don't want a whole lot. All right, that's not doing a whole lot either. It's a little bit better, but I think because the resin's already mixed in there with it, it's not doing what I want it to do. So let's go ahead and try this again. I'm gonna put some of the pigment in the jar first again. And I'm gonna add alcohol to that. Just a few drops here. Oh yeah, see, look at that. So that's the trick, because it has to have that liquid in order for it to uh, activate those those crystals. So you can see the difference, it's almost like alcohol ink now. So now that I have that in there, let's go ahead and try pouring some resin in. I don't wanna use a whole lot in case it doesn't work. Aha, it works, look at that. Woo, that's pretty. I don't know if you guys can see the color with that or not, but it's gorgeous. Hey, Lori. Lori wants green. <laughs> oh, Linda wanted purple too. So let's do, I'll do another one. I'll try the green as well. Let me put the purple away. And let's go ahead and try the green. Now we know what we need to do. So it's, first of all, add, get a new cup here. Add a little bit of the crystals. Now I'm not, I don't have a whole lot in there. Very, very little. I'm going to add a couple drops of the alcohol. One, two, three, four. You don't want to add too much, but it's just a little bit of alcohol will usually dissipate anyway. So, all right, I need a little bit more. It needs to be liquidy. So that's interesting. The sea green is actually more yellow and it's not mixing as well as what that purple did. Let's put a little bit more alcohol in there and see what happens. Yeah, it's still kind of grainy in there. Hmm. So that's interesting. I don't know if it's because of the, the pigment, but let's go ahead and try some of the resin in here. I mean, it's, it's yellow. It's definitely not green, but... Yeah, see, it's still, it's leaving a little bit of, I mean, it's pretty, it's got color to it, but you still see a lot of those crystals. Maybe I should let it sit a little bit longer in the alcohol, I'm not sure, but it's kind of neat. It gives it texture, almost looks like sand, so 
if I'm mixing what that with the lobster shells, that might actually work. Yeah, purple is the bomb, <laughs> Joy said. <laughs> it always is, even with alcohol inks. I know those purples are always so much brighter. You want to try one more? Might as well, you guys are here. Let's give blue or pink. I'm waiting for my, waiting for my answer here. What do you guys think? This thing's got a big delay, so. <laughs> I got enough resin so I could do both. Well, I'm gonna pick it. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do pink. I have a feeling this is a lizard and crimson. I have a feeling this one's going to be pretty dark too. So add a little bit of the pigment. Woo! Okay, a lot of the pigment. That one's got a lot. Uh, Joy is asking how long before the resin hardens. This one is art resin, so it it starts to cure in about 45 minutes, and that's just the beginning of it. So you really can work with it a lot longer until it starts to become a little sticky. And depending on how much heat you use and how much um, how much resin you have, uh, it takes a little bit longer sometimes for it to, to cure than others. And you're supposed to have it in 70 degrees. And my house is definitely 70 today. It's nice and warm. There's no sunshine though. It's been raining. What's it doing over there where you guys are? Rain? We're supposed to have thunderstorms this afternoon. I'm hoping it doesn't happen while we're on. Ooh, okay, that one's really dark too. And I had a feeling that would work. I'm gonna let it sit for just a little bit longer here. Try and mix it up a little bit more. Let those crystals do their thing. Maybe that's what I need to do is just let it kind of sit in there. Yeah, you do have a long time to play, Joy. It's, um, it's one of the reasons I like art resin. Some of the resins that you get for jewelry, uh, hard in like 15 minutes so they don't give you as much time whoops but you know it's all in what your preference is really so I'm just adding the resin to it you can see here I know rain for days huh oh ooh, this one's really pretty too you guys look at that I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to see the lobster shells in this stuff it's just pretty opaque looking Check it out. All right, so I've got purple. Where's my purple? That's my purple. Blue, yellow, sorry, I don't have green. So much for the green, huh? Let's go ahead and try the blue because I'm curious. Now that almost looks like it's green. I, I think I showed that the other day, but it turns the right color, I think. At least it did with the water. So I'm trying a little bit more pigment. A couple drops of alcohol. Just letting it sit for a second here. I'll grab another stick. Yeah, I think I used an awful lot. Uh, does the resin have strong odor? No, um, art resin doesn't really have, I can't even smell it to be honest. Um, some of the resins do have a really strong odor. Art resin, according to their website, and I don't have my mask on. Usually I wear my mask anyway, but because I'm on live and I'm talking, that's really hard to do. <laughs> but um, it supposedly has no VOCs. So um, it's, it's a really good one to work with, I find. But, you know, as with anything, make sure you take precautions when you're using it. Some people are really sensitive to it. So I'm going to tell you something, the, the green or the, or the blue did not work either. It's again, very grainy. It's interesting that some of the colors, it just must be the types of pigments that, that we have. But you know what you can use instead of that is, um, if you don't have brush and you want to try colors, the jacquard pigments work really well with that. And that's what, this is what these look like. They're a little bit more powdery, so they're not quite as grainy as what the brush shows are. So that's another option for you. I'm gonna put resin in here anyway, see what happens. You might hear my puppy from see some, um, the big S word, which is squirrels. She sees them up there, so when she's looking out the window, she goes a little crazy. <laughs> so you might hear her whining. Okay, so that's another one of the real grainy ones. That one did not do as well, but again, I think it's gonna be kinda cool with the lobster shells. 
I don't know if you can see it up close. Can you see it? I don't have much in there, but all right. So there's our options. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and I think I'm going to do my open bezel first. So if you guys are taking my online course for jewelry, resin jewelry, what I do is I use some tape. And then these are done, these are made by Nun Design. And these are a sterling silver plated one. They also have them in this type here as well, which is more of a brushed nickel, I guess, is what you would call it. Um, but these, they have lots of different ones on there on Nun Design, but you do have a minimum order if you're if you're doing a large wholesale order. I think it's a hundred dollars that you have to spend. So that's really easy to do. Um, so anyway, what I do is I tape the, the backs of these and then I push down on them. So it's on packing tape. So I just use like the Scott shipping tape. This stuff is really uh, good quality. It's really important to have good quality tape when you're doing it because if you don't use good quality tape, it will sometimes seep underneath and you'll lose your resin out the side. So it's really important to push down, make sure that you've really push it down well. I'm gonna try these two first. And I'm gonna put some lobster shells in here first. Now these are, they're pretty good sized lobster shells actually. I have to take my gloves off for this. Your hands are all sweaty already. If I can get these out. So I think what I'm gonna do is put in, what color do I wanna use first? I don't think the purple you're gonna be able to see much. Let's go ahead and put a little clear in first. I'm gonna do two of them at a time. And I'm not putting too, a whole lot of resin in there. I don't know if you can, you can see it or not. Look at that. I got stained from my uh, brush. -o. I don't know how that happened. I had gloves on. <laughs> so I have a little bit of resin in there. I'm gonna put on a little bit of the shells now. I'm just sprinkling them in. What do you guys think of the main shells? Do you think that's cool or do you think it's gross? <laughs> I thought it was really cool. Hey, Lori. Lori just popped in. All right, I'm gonna, I don't know how much I should fill this up. Again, this is the first time I'm doing this. You guys are seeing this live. This is what I do. I test things out. Some things work, some things don't. All part of the course. I kind of like, I like the red, but I also like the, the other side of the shell showing up too. That one, this one here. All right, so I have it filled in and what color am I gonna use first, do you think? Do you want the sandy color so we can kind of see it? No, let's try yellow because yellow is the clearest. Making you, Lori says, making her want to eat lobster. I know. I, I'll have some with you because I haven't had mine yet either. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pour it in. I might not have actually enough yellow to do this. I might have to add a little bit more to it. I was so nervous about using it up and it not working, but I didn't put a lot in there. You guys should all come visit while we'll I'll go eat lobster. What do you say? <laughs> all right, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more clear to it because I don't have a whole lot in there. Now this one, it um, what I usually will do, and I forgot to do it, is I usually will take, as I'm doing my layers, we'll take my little lighter and just go over the top of it to try to release some of those bubbles. And you have to be really careful because your tape will melt. Um, Lori's asking if she said she's late. What did you tint the resin with? Oh, no, I didn't tint it with alcohol and chlorine. We tinted it with um, brush -o. We were testing brush -o crystals out. And some of the colors worked, some of them didn't. Joy, you have a question? What's your question? I see a question mark on there. She's like, what are you doing? 
So you can see it pretty good. Let's see if I can get a little bit more color in here. The yellow is very transparent. Nobody answered me whether they thought it was cool for having lobster shells on your necklace. I think it would be, you know, it's one of those things for, maybe not for us Mainers, because we get to have it a lot. Well, obviously not a lot, because I've only, haven't had it yet this summer, but, or spring. Um, but for folks that come to visit Maine at the airport and stuff that, that bought a lot, buy a lot of Maine art, I think this is something that they're going to really like. All right, I'm filling it up with just a little bit more clear. So I want to make sure that I cover all of those shells. One of them's floating. So I'm going to take actually a toothpick. I was going to use my little tweezers, but I don't want to ruin them. Just asking for a close up. Oh, yeah, you want a close up? I'll get you a close up. Lori says she thinks that Taurus will love it. I think so too. I mean, actually, I think I'm going to like it. <laughs> Usually, you know, main stuff, I'm like, oh, you know, that's nice. I'll push it down a little bit. There we go. I have a piece of shell stuck to the outside here. All right, here comes a little close up of it. I can't tilt it. Sorry. Let me see if I can go this way with it. Can you see it okay? Now I gotta back up without knocking things over. I'll make sure I post for you guys um, the results. I'll get you some close ups when we're done. I'm gonna just go over it just again a little bit here. See if I can uh, pop some of those bubbles. What do you guys want to see for the next one? I've got clear going on here. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. Hey, Jerry. Oh, good, Joy, you saw it. Glad you could see it. Good. All right, so I have clear in there again. Let's put a little bit more. You have to be really careful. Like, I got a little bit on the outside here. So I've got my glue, or my... I should have my gloves on. I took my gloves off. I forgot to put them back on. Bad girl. <laughs> so I try to clean up if I find I, I spill anything on the outside while I'm doing it, only because it makes it easier than trying to get it off later. So let's go ahead and I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do by lighting this now so I can get some of those bubbles out. By the way, when you light them like this too, what happens is uh, it helps the resin um, harden faster because of the heat. I still have some bubbles in there, but I'm okay with the bubbles. I'm gonna do some more shells. Ooh, load that one up. And oh, cheers. Push some of those down. What'd you guys say for color? What do you think? Want some purple? Purple was the first choice anyway, right? So let's do purple. That is so pretty. Look at that. Wish all the colors would have done that. Uh-oh. I have a feeling that we're gonna have to put some more shells on here. This is so dark. <laughs> You may not see them. We'll, we'll see the shells actually on the other side though because this is a two-sided pendant. So you never know. It's like a little surprise when you unveil it because you get the other side that does its own little thing. No, I'm knocking things over. Yeah, so I definitely, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to come closer. You can't see it really, any of the lobster shells. <laughs> On this side, anyway. Joy, you're loving it. Cool. Whoops. Have a hair in there. You don't, we don't want that. My DNA in there. Probably get enough of that as it is. <laughs> Just kidding. I get that all out. Hey, Darlene. Hi, Mary. Welcome. I'm putting lobster in resin right now. And we tinted it with brusho crystals. 
And some of the colors worked and some of them did not. All right, I'm gonna do clear coat on top of it only because that purple is just so dark. It's very pretty, but add the clear right on top. I'm getting really close to filling this one up. I might have overfilled it. We'll see what happens here. Push it down just a little bit. We don't want them sticking anybody with shells when they're wearing it. All right, let's give it another torch so we can get rid of some of the bubbles on there. This one's pretty, you guys. I think I like it better than the yellow one now. I'm coming in for a close-up. <laughs> can you see it? I wish, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Let's push on the screen here. Oh, I guess that doesn't work when you're live. <laughs> Come back there. So yeah, this one's really pretty. It, it is going over the edge just a little bit, so I'll have to clean that up. So those are in the two-sided bezels from Nun Design. There's also, uh, they have brass, which is really cool. This one's a little bit deeper bezel. Um, and then they also have uh, just a little basic little bezels that are closed bezel. And I know a lot of you have seen those. We use those with alcohol inks a lot. Um, so I'm going to fill up a few more of those. Um, Joy said she likes the, oh, orange and purple. Oh, yeah, the orange from the, the shell itself, you mean. Yeah, and that makes sense because they're complementary colors, right? So let's go ahead and try just a few more. Now, these ones are very small. They don't hold a lot of resin in them. So... Um, I'm going to push these down just a little bit, break the shells just a little bit more. I think they're going to stick up. And I'm going to try some of the green. It's more of that sandy color. Let's see what we get with this. So resin is like a really strong glue, so you can pretty much mix this stuff with anything and it will set it right in there. And you don't have to worry. Oh, I see I went over there. Fail. <laughs> yeah, so you don't have to worry about it. It's, um, it will be, once it's in here, the stuff is in there for good. So you do have to play with it a little bit more, I think, because this is uh, sticking up a little bit. Maybe I had too many shells in there. There we go. The one thing about these, by the way, hey Sally Joe, um, you do have to when you're when you're um, done, you do have to lift lift these off to the side because it does have a little lip on it. And your resin will do this. It will pour out everywhere. So you have to be careful with that. So I'm going to level that one now. I'm not sure if I like it with the little sand things, but it's it does look like sand. Almost get a little bit of a tint of green, but not much. So there. Let's go ahead and torch that one more time. All right, I'm about ready to sign off here. I hope you guys liked this. Hope it was uh, interesting. <laughs> and if you uh, want that coupon for the crystal class, don't forget um, to send me a little note, leave me a comment, and um, I can I'll send you a PM afterward, and we can get you that coupon link because it does expire. Like I said tonight, you can once you sign up for it though, you can uh, watch it at any time. So that's the nice thing about it. You have lifetime access for it. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. What I like to do usually is put a little bit of alcohol in there and wipe that off. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill the rest of these in um, and I'm going to cover it with a, just a plastic tub. Hey, Catherine, that's okay that you're late. You can watch it on replay. No big deal. 
Um, and then, so I co I'll cover this up and let it dry for about 24 hours. And sometimes I'll get in there about 15 hours into it just to make sure that nothing came off the edge because while it's still a little sticky, a little tacky, you can just peel it off. And it makes it a lot easier because once the resin's cured, it's there, you're not gonna get it off. But if you get it while it's still a little sticky, it's good to go. So anyway, thanks you guys so much for watching. If you're here live, uh, feel free to tag some friends. Like I said before, if you have some people that like jewelry, want to try the jewelry class, you can go ahead and sign up. And if you're watching this on replay, make sure to leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys thought. We'll see you guys real soon. Take care. Bye-bye. If you want to head over to my Instagram account, I'm going to be posting some of the unmoldings and some of the finished pieces today. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys next week.